Thanks to Aura for sponsoring this video. So it's not often like a product comes along that I really truly and legitimately love. One that I use and wear every single day and that has sort of changed a lot about my daily life. So for the better part of a year, I've been using that product. And I've been more specifically, I've been wearing it every day. And you've actually seen it in videos that I've been doing, you know, going back to, to last year. Uh, it's called the Aura Ring. And there's a new version out appropriately called the Aura Ring Gen 3. Uh, and I think it's worth every cent. This is a company that I actively reached out to, one that I wanted to work with. This is a ring that I've been wearing long before Aura was ever a sponsor of the video. And whenever I try to show it to people and explain what it does, uh, the natural question I always get is, well, you're wearing an Apple Watch. Why would you want to wear uh, a ring too? There's a few reasons. Uh, the first one comes down to sleep tracking. As somebody who's a very light sleeper, wearing a relatively high profile watch when I tuck my hand underneath my pillow, it hits the watch. That wakes me up, deletes the whole point of trying to find better ways to get a good night's sleep. Uh, another reason that I've chosen to wear the Aura is I'm married, I wear a ring anyway. So for somebody who's wearing a ring, it's also now adding quantifiable betterness to my life. Uh, also, the data that I get from the ring tend to be more accurate than what you get from the Apple Watch, for example. The ring actually measures your heart rate from the arteries in the base of your finger. So closer it is to your arteries, the stronger, more accurate the heart rate is. And with something that, like, let's say, sits on your wrist, it's further away from those arteries, generally making it less accurate. So not saying the Apple Watch or any other wrist tracking device isn't good, isn't accurate. Um, but for me, that's why I've chosen to wear the Aura and also have the redundancy of having the Apple Watch. So we made a video earlier in the year on the Aura Ring Gen 2 and what it could do and how it was helping me track my sleep. This is the Gen 3 and it brings a lot of new stuff to the table. So uh, as you can tell, it's a ring. So normally Aura suggests wearing it on your index finger. So you get the best and most accurate readings overall, especially for things like your heart rate. Uh, personally though, I chose to wear it on my ring finger as my wedding band and my experience, it still worked really well. Uh, what's important though is what's inside. Uh, this ring is packed with enough sensors and processing to help you lead a healthier life and stay on top of your activity, your sleep, uh, and general health. So for me, I initially got it for sleep tracking. That was why I was originally attracted to the Aura Ring Gen 2. Uh, I've been very, very vocal about my issues with anxiety, how it impacts my sleep, uh, and insomnia. And you can go back and watch the video that I did on the Aura Ring 2 and what it gives you for sleep and sleep scores. It's helped me sort of better understand my own body and how I am sleeping. So when I wake up and think I was up all night, turns out I'm only up an hour, 45 minutes, and I can see the levels of deep sleep and REM sleep. And that's sort of information that's helped me figure out what works for me before I go to bed. Is it a combination of, of melatonin and maybe a sleep aid? Is it trying nothing? Um, I can sort of have empirical evidence to kind of see over a period of time what helps me. And that's been so incredibly helpful like to my life um, that it's one of those products that I really can't see going without. Now you may not struggle at all with sleep issues. And if you can lay down, close your eyes and wake up in the morning, um, to me that's a superpower and I commend you. So, but there's a lot of other things now that the Aura Ring Gen 3 is packing that you may have a lot of interest in. Okay, so again, I talked about the Aura Ring Gen 2, but here are the differences between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3 because like, physically, they look almost identical. But the real changes though are on the inside where all the upgrades have happened with sort of new features. So there's new red and green LEDs in addition to infrared that were there before. Um, so now the ring got the ability to read your heart rate throughout the day with daytime heart rate. So you can see your heart rate through the entire day, which is a huge upgrade. And you're probably thinking that wasn't there before, um, but kind of got to remember this is a ring, like a tiny, tiny little ring. So the fact that this battery life now just to be able to track your heart rate 
uh, I found to be awesome. So there's new temperature sensors built in to help get more accurate temperature detections on your finger. Uh, and I'll talk more on why that temperature sensor matters uh, a little bit later. Uh, the battery is also more efficient. The charger's got an LED indicator. Uh, there's also a 32 times more memory capacity. So just everything about it uh, is, is optimized. Basically, there's a lot of really great updates packed into the ring. And considering it's the same form factor as before, that's crazy impressive. But like the big question here is like, why does that matter? Why do I care that there's a green light in there? Why do I care about temperature? Sort of what does that get you? And sort of what is it gonna help you with? And so I can only talk about me. And I kind of want to frame it outside of the sleep stuff. I've talked about the sleep stuff for a while, but frame it now in the world we're living in where we're still in the middle of like pandemic and health issues kind of are, are widespread right now. And I think one of the coolest parts of the Aura Ring is that you can use it as a tool for spotting signs that you might be getting sick. And especially in today's climate, that's extra helpful. So Aura is very quick to rightfully tell you and they wanted me to tell you this is not a medical device. So it shouldn't be used to diagnose anything. But with all the sensors built in and as someone who has young kids, knowing when I'm possibly getting sick, is a giant reason that I want to get this thing on my finger. So now I get a ring that I think looks pretty cool. Uh, is ultra lightweight, comfortable for working out. It also looks good no matter what I'm doing. And again, it's on my ring finger, a finger that I would have a ring on anyway, uh, but it's also really quantifiably helping my life. And also, a bunch of new features that are coming that are in the works that can sort of make this, uh, I guess, a one-stop shop for kind of all your health tracking needs. Some of that stuff that's not here yet, or it says is coming, so I can't speak about when or how good it's going to be, but I imagine pretty good judging by the rest of the stuff. So on top of the workout tracking it already has, uh, it'll have exercise heart rate tracking. So you can go for a run, a walk, a bike ride, whatever, and you'll get a detailed readout of your workout, heart rate, and recovery. Um, also things like blood oxygen monitoring uh, is coming as well. More advanced sleep staging algorithms for even better sleep tracking, which is obviously what I'm here for. So all of your interactions with the ring obviously go through the app. You can't like, there's a screen on the ring. So inside of the app, there's also new guided audio and video library, different videos and slideshows, uh, like meditation sessions that can help, at least personally, lower my heart rate and temperature and sort of all those things help me get ready for bed. And I can keep track of all those things all within inside of the app. It's a lot of data. It's hard to understand what that data means. I am far this thing from a scientist. I'm a guy who generally talks about cell phones. So being able to sort of understand what those metrics mean and how it can use them um, is super important. So all that stuff is new, but the features that were there before in the Oura Ring Gen 2 uh, are here as well. Stuff like the sleep tracking, activity score, nap detection, which I wish I had time to take a nap, uh, activity detection. So all of those features are still in Oura Ring Gen 3. So if this seems like a, like a gushing thing, and I know it's weird for a sponsored video, but this is how strongly like I feel about this ring. And also I think it's sort of a perfect kind of marriage of, of tech and lifestyle, which I think is the ultimate goal of technology to improve our lives, to, to make them better and help us live more for fulfilled existence and not just, you know, scrolling on a phone. And ordering does that for me. And I know I might be the minority. I seem to be a mess in the head with anxiety and insomnia, and that might not be you. And good for you, because I am extremely jealous but things like knowing your heart rate and getting to know your body better is really cool. And it's something that I think, even if it's not useful to you every day, there may be a point in your life or a point during your year where you're thankful that you have it. And that's sort of what Aura has been for me. I'm thankful that it's always on my finger. I sometimes go to sleep at night, I can see the little green lights underneath there detecting and it calms me down knowing I can see information about myself. I don't know, maybe you're different, maybe, maybe you're not, but this is sort of my story with Aura Ring a company that I wanted to work with and a company that I'm proud to work with and hopefully it's something that you guys might be interested in as well. And if you're interested in the Aura Ring Gen 3, I'll obviously put a link down below where you can check it out and learn more about it. There's a ton more things you can do than I could talk about in however long this video ends up being. It's awesome, I dig it. They'll send you a size kit to make it sure it can fit your finger so you get one that'll work. It's really cool and it's really cool that I think it's helped me.